Hey, it's Kevin McCarthy. Welcome to another day in real estate. And uh, I'm finished with the flip project over here in Round Rock. Got some new landscaping in. The outside's all been buttoned up. Got a fresh new front door. Some new light fixtures. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm really happy with how this kitchen turned out. It's, it's really, really nice. We had to wait on uh, the upper cabinets. They took a little bit longer to come in, but I'm glad that we did go with the 42s because it adds a lot of storage in here. Um, we ran the tile this direction all the way through. I'm real happy with the tile we wound up with. And uh, the granite countertops, we got a great deal on this. It was a remnant that was left over. So it's actually a uh, level three granite. So it's really nice. And um, it turned out to be a lot less expensive than we were planning on spending on some granite just because the guy had these uh, this leftover slab that he didn't have a house for it to fit in. Um, if you remember before, the refrigerator was right here. And so now we've relocated the refrigerator and we gained all this counter space here. So the refrigerator is now here where that back door was. Ran our water line, everything's properly installed. Um, got our dedicated electric circuit here that we had to run through the ceiling from over here. And we just abandoned the circuit for the old refrigerator and put in a new breaker for this new refrigerator. So everything is on the up and up and it's proper and it's, uh, it's done really well. Remember there was a sliding glass door right here, but since we made room for the refrigerator on this side, we got this really nice single light door for uh, a back door. It's much more secure than that old uh, sliding glass door was anyway. It turned out really nice. So this is a really cool feature that we decided to go ahead and put in here was the barn door. Um, this thing is really neat, rolls real smooth, everything's nice and level. It, uh, it took quite a bit of work to, to get it to, to work properly, but I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And now you don't have the odd doors running into doors problem that we had here with the garage door swinging open and the, uh, the door into the room swinging open. So it, it made it really nice. So the fireplace in the beginning video I had talked about that this was my plan was to do the same tile that's on the backsplash in the kitchen on the, the back of the fireplace here so that it all tied together. Well, when we got down to it, we were putting in the floor. We had extra tile from the floor, so we decided to run it up the wall and then things kind of changed a little bit and we had this idea to run a pattern of the bathroom tile in the center of it and I'm really glad we did because it turned out really cool with the tile running up the wall and then the contrast of the different color of the bathroom tile from upstairs and then had this custom mantle made that, uh, that I installed here and I'm really happy with that. So we put in this really nice front door I was looking at putting in a completely new side light here, but it was really crazy expensive to buy the whole door kit. And this door itself, um, found a really good deal on it in the bargain bin at uh, Home Depot. So we wound up rebuilding the side light and it turned out really nice and it all plays well together. So here in the bath, in the, here in the master, we added, uh, nice fixtures and, um, all upstairs we put this nice plush carpet and an upgraded pad so it feels really good to walk on. And then here, the, the light in the master closet was just a pull string light. So we went ahead and redid that and brought a, a switch around here for a little bit of modern convenience. It's the little things. So here's the master bathroom. Got the nice new vanity in there, a little bit of backsplash on it. This is the same tile that we used on the on the center of the fireplace in there. So this was that really blue room that took a couple of coats of primer to, to get over that color. But now it's all the same as the rest of the house. And if you remember in here, 
these bedrooms did not have any kind of ceiling fixture at all because of the way this house was built the light switch operated a uh, plug in the wall so in the other in the bedrooms we went ahead and put in the fixtures so that they could have ceiling fans that operate off of the wall switch so here is the secondary bathroom done the same as the master but it's a little bit bigger so that one has a 36 inch vanity has the same mirror and that same uh, nice light gray tile that we found for the bathroom floors so we had to redo this back here where we took out the sliding glass door and uh, and put in this door so all this is new siding and there was that old nasty deck here with the bad smell like something had died back here and uh, <clears throat> when we pulled that out of here it was just all dirt and nastiness here so we had to bring in some nice new dirt reseeded it the grass has grown in really nicely i think it looks really good and uh now that we got rid of the old fence post out here this yard is nice and expansive it's got a really good sized yard for some kids to play in here i think it's going to be a really nice house for somebody thanks again for watching my video blog i'm kevin talk to you later